Hi friends, this is Manish Pandey. Welcome back. In this video, we are going to explore the concept of multiple weight condition and how to implement multiple weight conditions in weight stage and blow pressure. So let's get started. In blow prism, weight stage allows you to configure multiple weight conditions to monitor several conditions simultaneously which makes your automation more flexible, efficient and easier to manage. And this is useful in scenarios where your process needs to wait for one of several possible conditions to be met before continuing. Now let's dive into the blow prism and set up an example process that demonstrates how to use multiple weight conditions in weight stage in object studio. In this example, we'll be using Centrix data solutions. Here, board will try to click on orders and then any of these options once found, then it will consider that orders menu that page loaded. So we have multiple things. We have Windows title, which says that orders menu. We have go button, we have text box, then this order options and then this cart images. So we can go through multiple elements. If any of these elements loaded or that exist, we can say that this page has been loaded successfully. So we'll create an object that waits for the either a button exist or window title or text box to appear on the screen. So let's go to the studio, open the existing objects here that is Centrix Data Solutions and we'll be going to this go to orders and if we'll double click on this we already have a wait stage used here where we have only one conditions added here that is orders menu element and condition is check exist. We need to set up our application modeler to identify the elements we want to wait for. For this example, we will use this application Centrix Data Solutions and then we'll spy a go button, text box, windows title, order options, Let's open application modeler. So in the orders menu, we have the first we can consider as a title. If we we'll click on the match, we already have this orders menu for the windows text. We can also use this element. Second, we have orders option text box that is also created. Third, we have go button. So one, two, three that is already created. If you want to create for this order options, you can create, you can also create for this image. So let's create one more. Let's right click on this, insert one, change the name and put here order option, order options. Now we will launch this first now let's go to the orders okay we'll click on identify click yes and then we will take this order option label this one so press Control left click on the top right side you can see using the identification tool Windows 32 mode. So as we are using this Windows application by default the spy mode is saying that Windows 32 mode. So we'll go with the Windows 32 mode. Control left click. Now we have this Windows text visible this this this. If you want to modify a little bit, you can modify, like remove all and put here only a star. Close this, put it here, wildcard. 
click on highlight and now it's working fine here now this is order options label now we'll just click on apply click ok now here once we'll click on orders button we'll click on orders button we need to check that either this go button exists or the text button text box or this label exists then only we can see that this orders menu page loaded so for that we'll double click on the wait stage first we have orders menu which is this one and we then it's going to check that check exist it means if the orders menu exist then this will say that this application has been loaded now here we we can set the timeout if you want the boat to wait for 20 second before throwing an error so you can put that a specific timeout now this is for orders menu now we'll be taking this orders menu one more time and from here we can add multiple wait conditions you can see currently we have only one condition we'll click on add let's take three we'll take orders menu again and this time we'll say get windows text wildcard and we'll say this should be orders menu so what was there you can check orders menu if this found orders menu and we can put like this star here and a star here so it will check if that windows text for this orders menu element if this exists then it says that page has been loaded orders menu next so one condition it check exists second we have taken get window third we are going to take here orders orders uh, option text box which is this one we'll say check exist true now we'll take go button we'll say go button let's say for this uh, get window text again we are going to take we'll say if go button equals to go now we have four conditions click ok now let's do like this let me zoom in and now you can see here we have one two three four four conditions let's go this way so let me go with this way so in case of timeout it will throw a system exception now let's configure these wait conditions so this is the first one which says that orders menu exist what we are going to do we are going to take one notes for each conditions so that we can see which condition is currently executing this one note note and then note so there are four note stage this 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 and then we'll connect this all with the and stage let's do it like this orders menu check exist this is for orders menu get window text this is for orders option text box checks check exist and this is for go button get window text okay let's do it like this we'll right click on this set next stage we'll click on step over and now what will happen it will click on that orders menu this button now currently we have one two three four all these elements now appeared on the screen so what's going to happen here once we'll pass through this it will go with the first one itself
because the first one first condition is met right so it will go with this one now let's say if out of four conditions if any one is not working then what's going to happen so let me go to the orders menu check exist here and then we'll just say this is false and now you can see what is going to happen so let's right click on the wait stage again and see now this time it says that okay the orders menu check exists is false the condition didn't meet now it's going to check the second condition that is orders menu get window text and what is the condition there orders menu get window text is orders menu it means the title is orders menu this one this is this exists right now same way if out of four these two didn't meet the condition no problem we already have two more conditions to check so now let's say i'm going to modify the second one also uh, instead of putting the wild card i will say just equals to now let's okay right click set next stage and now you'll see here this is also not working this also not working because now we change that wild card to equals to and our title is orders menu now we have orders option checkbox exist and go button get window exist any of this condition match it means this page has been loaded now it will go to and right and now you can see it's completed so this way multiple wait condition works in the wait stage thank you for watching this video i hope this video helped you understand how to implement multiple wait conditions in wait stage in blue prism if you found this video helpful please like share and subscribe if you have any questions or suggestions feel free to leave them in the comments below until next time happy learning